In this video I'm going to show you how to use the shape window on the left of Visio 2010 to access different shapes that you can add to your document. You should notice at the top of the shapes window this little expansion arrow. Click this to expand the panel and view more shapes. And you can scroll down the list of available shapes here. Depending on the type of document you've created you might see a different collection of shapes here. It doesn't really matter what document type you start with because you can always add more shapes by clicking more shapes. Then select the type of um, document that you might be creating, move across and you'll see collections of different stencils that are available so I might use brainstorming shapes and I can choose between metric and US units and then you'll have different types of shapes that are available. If you decide eh, no that's not really what I needed just right click on this heading select close and that will close that collection of shapes. Maybe what I wanted was something down in Visio Extras. I use this quite a lot and there's different options here like callouts which gives you little pull out features that you can add and write little bits of text to comment on other shapes on your diagram. And you can just keep adding. So if I went back, let's go general. Basic shapes I use a lot. Blocks can be quite useful so you have different kinds of block shapes here like a 3D box, different kinds of things. So there's a lot of different options here. You can do things like having different partial shapes that you can combine to make circles, all sorts of options. Once you're finished with the shapes panel, click this little arrow to collapse it again. And at any point, click this little arrow underneath and you'll be able to jump to a different collection of shapes.